Okay, I believe this will be one of the last, probably second or third to last video of figuring out decimals. So in this video, we're gonna be dividing decimals. This is the most complicated basic operation and also form of basic operation for decimals. So we're gonna say something as simple as 4.5 divided by 1.5. To write this as a decimal equation, the number on the right goes on the outside and the number on the left goes on the inside. Now, for those of you that already know the answer, I congratulate you on that. It is simple and it's very easy to solve. However, for those of you that do not, please don't panic. This is a really easy fix. So in order to make this simpler, all you have to do is see this little decimal, just move it one time to the right or until however many times you need in order to make this decimal number into a regular whole number. Now, however many times you move this decimal point is the same amount of times you have to move that decimal point. So if I move this once, I'm gonna move this once. So now my equation should look like this. 15 inside of 45. We know that 15 can go inside 45 three times. And based on that, we know that 1.5 can fit inside 4.5 three times. But wait, what if we're dividing a decimal number by a whole number? Let's say two. No problem. We'll do the same thing. The number on the right goes on the outside the number on the left goes on the inside. However many times I need to move this decimal point to make it a whole number is however many times I have to move the imaginary decimal point that's here. So now this will be 20 on the outside and then 45 on the inside. And then we'll do the operation like normal. 20 cannot go inside 4, and 20 can go inside 45 at least two times. So then we're going to go to the next step. 2 times 20 is 40, and we're going to subtract that. 45 minus 40 is 5. Now we're not done. Because there's a remainder here, that means this number is going to end up being a decimal. And to do that, all I have to do is this. I'm gonna put a decimal point here, add a zero, drop down to zero, and now I have 50. But remember, because I added a decimal point here, I now have to add it here. Now, the step is annoyingly, well, just annoying, but we have to do it. We have to figure out how many times 20 goes inside 50. And we know it can go inside 50 at least two times. So then we do the same process again. Two times 20 is 40. Subtract that and we have 10. And because we have a remainder, we have to add another zero and we drop that down. Now we got to figure out how many times 20 goes inside 100. And the answer to that is five. So five times 20 is 100. And now we have no more remainders because 100 minus 100 is zero. So because this equals 2.25, that also means that this equals 2.25. And that's how you solve it. Math is not hard, it just gets longer. And I really hope these videos are helping you because by the end of the day, all I wanna do is be the good teacher to my kids. So please like and subscribe if you can, because it would really help me a lot. And if you can share it with other people, I know it'll help them even more. So thank you very much, y'all. God bless.